everyone, Brittany Carmichael here joining you for your live weekly Woo Woo Wednesday Tarot reading. And today just happens to be America's birthday. So happy birthday, America. <laughs> so today should be a day that feels like celebration and freedom and really reminding you that you have the power, that you as an individual make up the collective of this place. So just want to take a moment to celebrate you. Share in the comments below where you're watching from and what are your celebration plans for tonight. Today's reading, I will be using the Archangel Power Tarot deck. Here, we'll try to get it <laughs> in focus for you guys. Um, the Archangel Power Tarot deck from Doreen Virtue. You guys know I love this tarot deck. Um, it just cuts right to the truth. It's very... Um, close to the traditional tarot, so the symbolism is there. She does a great job of keeping all the meanings. Hey, Clarissa. Hey, Aubrey. Hey, Jenny. Oh, man, I'm so excited to join you for this reading to see what comes up. And then afterward, I have the pleasure of interviewing the beautiful Emma Milden, who is the author of The Soul Searcher's Hand Guide. Oh, my gosh, cards are already starting to fly around. You guys see The Magician and The Four of Gabriel. I love these cards. Um, so magic is abound, guys. <laughs> All right. Clarissa is watching from Houston, and I know how hot it is here in Texas. <laughs> okay, so the way that this reading works is that I set the intention that everyone here watching receives the message that they need most at this time in their life. So whatever comes up for you, whatever thoughts or feelings, um, visions, whatever comes up for you, trust in those gentle nudges. Okay, guys? All right, I'm going to shuffle with the intention that we all receive the message that we need most, and then I just pick cards that pop up. <laughs> all right, how many of you, this is your first time watching a trill reading or joining Woo Woo Wednesday Live? Say hello, don't be shy. And like I said, share in the comments below what you are doing to celebrate today. Today is um, a day of celebration. There we go. I love when the cards pop out like that. All right, one more card. For this week's reading. All right, last one. Cool. That was easy, guys. Sometimes it happens super fast. Hey, Aaron. It's good to see you. All right. Put these cards away, and then we'll start with the first card and see what comes up for this week. Ooh, okay. Ah! Number 17, the star. I love this card. It's one of my favorite cards of the deck because this is a card that says, listen, it's time to believe in yourself, to have confidence, to go after your dreams because you are a star meant to shine. You are a superstar. It says a dream come true, believe in yourself and the end of a difficult situation. What an awesome card to come up for. Like I said, today is a day of celebration. We're celebrating freedom. We're celebrating um, <laughs> some stuff. <laughs> oh, I will have to have another conversation on how I, um, feel about that but we are celebrating today's the fourth of july it's our independence so i like to think of it as a personal freedom independence not some imaginary line drawn in the sand but our own personal spiritual freedom and our birthright and that is that we are here so because you're here you are meant to shine and this is saying like listen your dreams are valid and they are coming true and the more that you believe in them and the more that you believe in yourself, the more star power you use to start attracting new opportunities, new experiences into your life that will help you to play out um, your talents and your skills and the gifts that you have to serve here. Hey, Jamie, it's good to see you. Okay, so it also says the end of a difficult situation. So this is saying, hey, you've been going through a lot of um, spiritual upgrades. <laughs> I keep seeing people's posts that say closed for spiritual maintenance. How many of you guys feel that way? Like, I am closed right now. I'm going through some upgrades. I'm changing some things. I'm releasing some relationships and some old ways of living and acting. Um, this is saying that now is that time that, that the hard stuff is over. Now you can Whew, relax and just trust that everything that you've worked hard to to get to this point has not been for nothing. It's been to teach you something. It's been to show you that you have all these amazing talents and skills and you can't just acquire them from one place, that you have to have all these different experiences that teach you what you need to know in order to step into that next level of growth or that next level of service. So maybe you like read some books and now you have all this new knowledge that you want to go out and share. That would be um, where you're taking time away and integrating and then going out and sharing your gifts. So this is saying believe in yourself. You have what it takes to just 
Shine. You guys know, I mean, I'm the founder of Shine School. So that is my me my message to women is to empower them to shine from the inside. And what does that mean? That means reclaiming that power that we've given away that we said, okay, you can tell me what to do with my life. You can decide if I'm worthy or not. You can decide how much money I make. All of this is our decision. And we've given that uh, power away and so today I'm celebrating the freedom of our personal power and the choice that we have that we can choose to reclaim that that we can wake up today and say I am enough I've done enough I what I create is enough I am amazing so just take a moment in the comments below to celebrate yourself celebrate yourself by sharing something that you love and you're proud of um, that you want to share with the world. Leave that in the comments because you deserve to be heard. So share your message in the comments. Okay. The next card that comes up this week is the six of Michael. So this card is saying that um, the end of a difficult situation, basically, which is perfect. It's saying that the, t the tough times are over, that there's light at the end of the tunnel, that um, all of those struggles, just like this first card is saying, like, believe in yourself. Like, if you keep believing that you're not good enough, you're going to keep experiencing that kind of uh, reality. So it's important that you start to just today declare, I am enough. I'm good at what I do. I am a writer. I am an artist. I am a great mother. I am whatever it is, own it now and stop creating that gap with thinking. Just now, take action, own it. It says, it's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So this is saying that right now you've been going the best that you can as well as you can, right? We're always doing the best that we can, but now is the time to kind of reshift your energies to reassess where you're at and go, okay, I've made it this far and I believe in myself. So now what are those next steps? This is saying just to take a load off, really, just to relax, just to know that right now, even though like, oh gosh, man, that, that change was painful, that there is a more enriching future. So just take a moment to be here, to be present, to celebrate, to integrate, really. <laughs> Um, what else from this card? This card talks about relocation and travel. It also talks about traveling overseas. So if you're taking an overseas trip, this is a positive sign that it will be nice and successful for you. Um, this card, relocation, doesn't surprise me because I had a reading with someone this week that I was asking, um, would you be willing to change your location? And they had just closed on a new house on a different state um, that day. So it seems perfect. So to see relocation come up today, it doesn't surprise me. So anyone else who is planning a move, leave that in the comments below. I'd love to know if that's you. Um, what else do we want to know about this card? I, I just want to take a moment to celebrate you. Like going through these changes is not an easy thing. Up leveling and, and um, going inward to search for truth and to heal your past pains, man, that takes courage. So I just want to take a moment to celebrate you. Jessica says, yes, we are planning a move. How exciting, Jessica. Um, if you guys have been following me for a little while or for the la if you've been paying attention for the last month, um, Chris and I are moving as well. We are moving in September and we are so excited um, for bigger space, more light, more room. We'll actually have an office, <laughs> which will be really great. I'll feel more productive, right? Okay, last card for the week. Let's see what's going on. The three of Michael. This is a card of pain and sorrow. So what is really interesting is that we started with the star. This is your dreams are coming true. This is um, the end of a difficult situation. This is the time to have confidence and to believe that you are meant to shine. And then we move into the six of Michael, which is about uh, being away from that uh, that difficult situation, the end of that struggle. And then the three of Michael says, release the past. You will grow from the situation and time heals all wounds. So just like I was talking about, guys, it takes courage to go inward and heal some of these pains, some of these truths that we've been ignoring, that we've been hiding from ourselves. This is saying it's okay. It, it, now is the time to release the past. Now is the time to say, you know what? I'm closing the chapter and I'm going to write a new one. I'm going to choose what that next chapter looks like for me. This is saying you're growing. You had to go through those tra traumatic and painful experiences so that you could learn this lesson. And the lesson always stems from learning to love yourself and learning to set up boundaries and learning when to say no. It always boils back down to love, guys. So this is saying, yes, your past, there are painful things in your past. There, are, I mean, raise your hand if you've had traumatic, painful things in your past. 
all of us, right? All of us. So what's the difference between successful people who find peace and forgiveness and joy and then the people who are blaming life and constantly say victim and, oh, this sucks and this is not a good life and I, I don't know, just it's not whatever. I don't have any control over this. Um, what's the difference between those two people, guys? Do you know? The difference between those two people is the one person who moves on and forgives accepts what has happened. You know what? Sometimes shitty shit happens. But without that, we wouldn't have the other side of that coin. We wouldn't have the joyous side, the triumphant celebration on the other side. So without pain, there would be no... Uh, there would be... No reason to learn, no reason to grow, no reason to move forward, right? If we stay complacent and we're just like, here, okay, whatever. It's, if I've numbed my pain enough, then I can just sit in what no longer feels good. But when we turn on to our emotions and we see how we feel and we say, you know what, this isn't working in my life. And you know what, yeah, this did happen, but that's okay. I accept that this has happened and now I'm gonna accept that I needed to learn a lesson. I'm gonna grow from this and I know that I will heal. And it, guys, it takes time. Sometimes it takes hindsight to look back and go, okay, I can accept and see from a higher perspective now why some of these things have happened. Hey, Susan, so good to see you guys. Any questions on what has come up? Or am I, like, are you guys with me? <laughs> are you guys with me today? <laughs> and is this resonating? Is this, some, is this bringing up an old emotion or an old memory or something from the past where you're like, I have to release this because this is what's hindering me from stepping out and shining and, and believing in myself and allowing my dreams to come true. But you're at a turning point in your life where you can take that responsibility and say, you know what? the past is the past right now is right now and I choose to believe that I am here for a reason and that I have something amazing to give um, releasing victim mentality taking responsibility beautiful Jamie <clears throat> this resonates with me Tally thank you for your comments guys so this is a reminder that you are amazing you need nothing more you don't even need to change you are already that perfect amazing fabulous shining bright star the only thing that needs to change is for you to let go of the thoughts and ideas that limit you from being what you already are. There's nothing that you can buy from Target or learn in like freaking yoga. Like yoga is a deconditioning. It is a, it's getting the old programming out. It's not going to do anything but that. So all it is is just shedding layers of what you're not. And if you guys have not taken my Awaken Your Authentic Self Challenge, that is the perfect free video empowerment series to join and learn how to shed these limiting labels and these old beliefs that hold you back and are blocking you from feeling and tapping into that level of happiness. It's all about the mindset, guys. We have to begin to make those shifts because there, we suffer when we stay up here, but all we can do is decide be that and then take the action immediately. So this is saying your dreams are coming true. You're stepping into a new dawn, a new light, a new chapter. So let go of the past and anything that is bothering you from the past. If there's any bad, sour relationships or things that you need to say or get off your chest, like journal it out, write it out, like say a little prayer of forgiveness, whatever you need to do to close the chapter of the past and really start from a fresh, clean slate. Do, and I invite you to do that for yourself now. You deserve that, and you deserve a fresh start where you can tap into those levels of joy and happiness and, and peace from within and, and feeling like, you know what, I am in control of my life. Um, love, woo-woo Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Susan says, I am so with you. You know I need to release a lot of shit. Susan, I almost feel like I was talking to you, sister, today. <laughs> All right, guys, any other questions before um, we wrap up? This has been so much fun. Um, again, happy um, birthday, America. <laughs> Celebrate your freedom. No matter what side of the imaginary lines you're drawn on, whatever country you're raised in, whatever religion, whatever color, whatever it is that you are, wherever you come from, know this. Know that we are all made from the same stardust. And this is a reminder that because you're here, that because you are a presence, an awareness, a, a being, that you are important, that you have something to give. So stop beating yourself up. Stop going, like, stop being your own worst critic. Stop judging yourself. Stop trying to live up to perfectionism. Stop worrying if other people are, you know, 
judging your life because they are so who cares <laughs> just do the best for you you're always doing what you know to do um, right in the moment so continue to tap into your heart space and trust where it is leading you let go of the past so that you can live in the now because that is where the magic is happening that is where life is guys not <laughs> not in the past or the future those are just projections of the mind all right, guys, if you love this message and you know a soul sister who would love tuning in to Woo Woo Wednesday, go ahead and tag them in the comments below or share this on your page. I appreciate the good karma, and I appreciate each and every one of you tuning in for Woo Woo Wednesday. Okay, we talked about the Awaken Your Authentic Self um, free video series. If you go to brittanycarmichael.com slash awaken, you can sign up for free for that. Um, and if you're on Instagram, it is uh, there's the link in my bio. <laughs> Let me see, brittanycarmichael.com slash awaken. So if you guys want to sign up for that and learn to take off all those judgments and criticisms and really like ask the most important question you'll ever ask yourself, <laughs> you want to check out this free video series. Okay. Um, hey, Claire, it's good to see you. Well, I think this has been an amazing Woo Woo Wednesday. I'm going to keep it short and sweet so that I can go celebrate with my friends um, and do the things that make me feel good in life. And that is community and connection and a celebration and good organic vegan food. <laughs> Um, beautiful words for today. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Erin. It's so good to see you, sister. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys on Friday for the Elevated Life series with my husband, Chris, where we teach you simple mindset shifts to create radical transformation in your life. And if you want to hang out with me for a private trio, one, a private reading one-on-one -on -one with me, <laughs> then you can check out brittanycarmichael.com slash tarot. All right, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.